Hey guys, welcome back to Explainer X today. I am going to recap a 1982 romance drama movie, Name Butterfly. So, let's begin. At the beginning of the movie we are shown a beautiful girl, whose name is Katie, which is currently standing on a deserted road, and then she asks for a lift from the truck going from there, and that truck driver gives him a lift. When Katie was sitting in the truck, so that truck driver tries to seduce him, and slowly puts his hand on his leg, by which Katie understands, that what he needs, so Katie also seduces him, and she opens his shoes and throws them out, and also takes off his paint, and then seeing the opportunity, she got down from the truck and run away with her bag, and truck driver getting out of the truck keeps shouting at him, and Katie reaches a mountain while running, and he sees a house below, and when Katie goes near that house, so at that time the owner of that house is not there, that's why Katie sits outside that house, then there comes the owner of that house, and the name of the owner of that house is Jess, after which Jess asks Katie, who are you and why have you come here, and Katie starts flirting with Jess. Jess tells him to go away and goes to the house, and starts milking his cow, and Katie doesn't leave from there, and goes after Jess and starts talking to him, and starts drinking raw milk of cow. Actually Jess takes care of a silver mine, and Jess's wife Belle had left him 15 years ago, and she also took Jess's two daughters with her, after which Katie goes to the door of the house, and standing there tells Jess her name, and takes her bag and goes inside the house, and while talking to Katie, Jess gets to know, that Keddy is his daughter, so that's why he lets her inside the house, and then at night when both are having dinner, so Jess briefly asks Keddy about his mother, and speaks, that you also tell something about yourself, Keddy speaks on that, that my mother works as a prostitute, and I also fell in love with a boy during my school days, and I got pregnant, and now I have a two-month-old son too, and because of which the people around started taunting, and I didn't have to run away from home, but Jess hears all this and tells Keddy to leave, but Keddy convinces Jess to keep him with her, and Keddy changes the dress to sleep at night, so Jess looks at Keddy's shadow, and tries to see it from the side window, then in the morning Keddy is standing near the silver mine, then Jess comes running there seeing him, and says that in this mine he does not have that much sliver anymore, as it used to be, and because of this it had to stop working, but still sometimes I go to work in it, to find some silver that can meet my needs, but Keddy speaks on this, that there will still be so much silver in it, wouldn't it? That we both become rich but only then Jess speaks on this. That you have come here so that you can get rich by extracting silver. And let me tell you that bad things always happen to bad thinkers. But then Keddy speaks. That I got good results from doing bad things. I got a son who it is the son of the owner of the silver mine galaxy. And I want to take good care of my son. Take some sliver from his father's mine. So what's wrong with that? And let me tell you that the name of the son of galaxy is Wash. And Keddy tells. That he got me pregnant and married me? Refused because my surname is Tyler. And Keddy speaks. If I had to do wrong things for my son, I would do that too. After which Jess takes Keddy's hand and goes to church. And tells his story to all the people through FR. And that makes Keddy feel bad. And because of this Keddy starts running from there. Jess tries to stop him. But Keddy does not come and runs away. Then Jess reaches home and waits for Keddy. But Keddy does not come that day. Then the next day when Jess is standing outside the house. Then a car comes there. From which Keddy comes down. So Jess asks Keddy. Whose car was that? And who was in that car? Then Keddy speaks. He was my friend's brother. Who had come to drop me. And after which the night goes as Jess Keddy. And now Keddy was angry with Jess because of the church talk. So that's why she doesn't talk to him. And Jess speaks to Keddy that she can stay here as long as she wants. And now I will not do such a thing again. And Jess tells Keddy that he will start digging in the mine again from tomorrow. And Keddy gets very happy hearing this. And then the two slowly start getting intimate. But Jess restrains himself and leaves. Then the next day both of us are seen digging in the mine. And on that day both of them do not get anything in mine and both of them come home in the evening. And Keddy is very tired as soon as she comes home. And goes and lies down. So says Jess. That I heat the water. You take a bath and then go to sleep. And Keddy takes off her clothes and sits in the tub. And Keddy speaks with Jess. That give me a massage and Jess gets lost in Keddy massaging Keddy. And then Jess removes his hand from it while massaging. And then Keddy says. Please do, I feel good. And Jess says in refusal, No I can't do all this. You are my daughter but Keddy speaks. I am also a woman and then the next day, both of them are digging in the mine, where they get a lot of silver this time, and both of them were quite happy, where a man stands on top of the mine, who was listening to them all, 
and watching him, after which both Keddie and Jess go to the market to sell silver. And when Keddie asks Jess to stop the car outside a shop, and says that I should do some shopping till you come after selling silver. And when Jess comes back, so Keddie doesn't find him there, and she tells the shopkeeper Jess, that Keddie has gone to the front pub. While going Jess sees Keddie dancing with a man, and for some time Jess sits and sees Keddie over there. But when it's too late, so Jess starts holding Keddie's hand and takes him home. But Keddie refuses to go home, and speaks, that I will go with them today. Keddie tells Jess, that that sometimes I want to be happy too, and Keddy does not listen to Jess and starts leaving. But then Jess speaks, that whatever you want, I am ready to do all that. And hearing this, Keddy agrees, and she starts leaving with Jess. But when they are leaving, but then some people attack Jess. And seeing this, Keddy also jumps into the fight, and Jess together take them both out of the pub. And after this fight, both of them have to go to court. There was a police case. That's why they find some daughter fine in the court. After which both of them come home having a lot of fun in the car. And as soon as he comes home, Keddie sees that his elder sister Janie has come. And she has also brought Keddie's two-month-old son with her. After Jess, Keddie tells Jess. But Jess doesn't pay much attention to Keddie and goes inside. But at night Jess feeds Keddie's son. And whenever Jess's eyes go to a mark made on his stomach. And when Janae comes to that room and tells Keddie that Wash is ready to marry you and he is coming to pick you up tomorrow, and the next day when Wash comes to pick up the Keddy, so Keddy speaks to him, that I don't want to be with you, and don't want to marry you, you go from here, and Wash is conveyance to him, and she agrees after seeing the love of Wash, after which both of them go to Jess, and Wash apologizes to him, so Jess forgives the Wash as well, and the Wash at night tells everyone, that me and Keddy are going to get married in two days, and then Jess sees Ed Lame approaching, Seeing this, he brings his gun outside, because Jess didn't like Ed Lame. Ed Lame then tries to persuade Jess to get out of the car, but Jess does not agree. Then Ed Lame calls Jess's wife Belle out, so seeing him, Jess calms down, and lowers his gun. Actually those people had come to meet Keddie, because now Belle's health is bad. Then all those people go inside, and then Ed Lame goes to meet Belle in her room, and they talk. But in the meantime Belle attacks Ed Lame. But Ed Lame kills Belle. Jess feels during the funeral the next day. That Ed Lame has found out about the mine. So that's why Jess runs towards the mine with his gun. And go there and see. That Ed Lame mine happens to be digging in. And there is a lot of debate going on between these two. Then Jess's eyes fall on a mark made on Ed Lame's stomach. And this mark was also made on the stomach of Keedy's child. So seeing this, Jess understands that the child is not his but Ed Lame's only. And that's why Belle didn't want to kill him. And then Jess shoots him. And dying Ed Lame tells Jess that Keddy is not yours but my daughter. And that's why his boy also has this mark. And then Jess throws his corpse into the mine. After this Jess goes to the wash house and tells him that who is Keedy's son is not actually your son but he is Ed Lame's son. Because of the scar on his stomach, the same mark is also on Ed Lame's stomach. Actually Jess provokes the wash. Because now Jess wants to get Keddy all over. Because he has understood. That Keddy was not his daughter but Ed Lame's daughter. Then the next day Keddy and Wash get married. That's why Keddy gets ready and waits for the wash by standing outside the house. But the wash does not come to pick it up. Because of which Keddy becomes very sad. Then at night when both are having dinner. So Jess seduces Keddy. And tells him that we will both start digging in the mine again tomorrow. To which Keddy is very happy. Then the next day when both of them are going towards mine. So Keddy falls. And Jess tries to pick it up. And then Keddy gets intimate with Jess by dropping him too. And seeing both of them being intimate, he mocks. And upon reaching the mine, they become completely intimate. And then the next day they are both taking out slivers from the mine. So the police comes and starts arresting Jess. Jess asks him about his crime. So the police tells him that you have become intimate with your own daughter and you know very well that doing so is a crime. After which the court mock testifies against him the next day. Hearing whose testimony the judge speaks. That both of you have broken the law of our country. So both of you will be punished and after hearing this, Jess speaks. That's not Keedy's fault in this. I forced him. This is why Jess does this. So that Keddy is saved and after which the judge is about to give his decision. Only then the judge tells Jess. 
That Keddy is not my daughter but Ed Lame's daughter, and he speaks to prove it. The mark on Keddy's child's stomach, Ed is also on Lame and Moke's stomach, because Moke was Ed Lame's brother. That's why he tears the clothes of the mock and shows the mark on his back to everyone. And this proves it. That Keddy is not the daughter of Jess but Ed Lame's. After which both of those insults are acquitted. And then after a few days Jess shifts to another city with Keddy. And this movie ends here. So I hope you enjoy the video. So click any video of three them. And enjoy next and don't forget to subscribe our channel. And hit the like button. Thank you for watching see you soon.